seems like teams are ready. Map of uh, first map coming up will be Li Jiang Tower once more. And both of these teams being uh, really good online tournament uh, teams in general will just performing really well as of late. Pale Goldenrod had a, a bit of a uh, dip down or slight downward spiral in a sense if you will in the couple of uh, two weeks but overall generally I still really like their approach on certain maps certain picks they've been having uh, and certain uh, just strategies in terms of way they section off their opponents and force them out of points on control maps or the way they uh, rotate on some of the uh, hybrid maps or even the escort maps but the round will start once again on the blue hand side we will have Vivi's adventure red side pale golden rod as Lulish will be the first one to get first blood and so far things are not looking good for pale golden rod as Vivi's Adventure will have a very dominating first team fight win for the first point secure. And so far, as well on the uh, part of just ultimate advantage, gonna be going over in favor of the blue team. Bionade will help secure the kill onto Zekker, but still. Two one trades coming in on for Vivi and Zeus still nice positioning by him. Not really want to be taken down by the hit scan opposition. Even gets the concussive blast kill. And now with the kill onto shoot to boot, hold will be good for Vivi. Gets a direct hit onto Nicola. Will force him back. And another thing that I didn't get to mention. Real quick is the fact that Nicola is going to be subbing in for Pale Golden Rock this time around. So we have to keep that in mind as Hanzu looking for another boot kill, but will go down. Drodo answers so far, and Ellie now having the tech, Netaboost attack visor is looking for more. And he get a couple of extra kills. Lulish secures two extras as Sebastian and did will be resetting just so they can regroup with the team as soon as possible don't wanna don't really wanna uh, delay any longer but once more if you take a look at the ultimate side of things there are so many available for Vivi definitely will be looking for us to take this win but now with the rocket barrage head to an M1 secure free looking for that fourth and Nicola with that Dragon Blade, with the Nano Boost, will not be able to take anything at all. And even BAM! Securing that solo kill over Pseudo. This Vivi's Adventure lineup on fire and looking super dominant. Lolish will be taken down. Still <laughs> unfortunate for him. Will not matter as Vivi will be able to take the first map. Not like this indeed for Lulish. Still, however, did not come into. You. It didn't really not matter whether he lived or died in that situation. He pushed them a bit back. They got held off. That's all that matters. Nobody able to go on to the point from the lineup of Pale Golden Ron means that Vivi will be able to take that first point relatively easily. But with swaps coming over from PGR Dids now. Over on the McCree. Will be interesting to see if it's gonna pay off in the end. Anticipates the dive out of the Genji. Gets a nice headshot onto Zekker. And will be going down to Ellie. First blood drawn by the blue team. Ellie now chased down by the right heart, but the Bionade will force him to go back. And first point once again. Going over to Vivi. Nano 
And once more Vivi with the first point cap looking really dominant here on Night Market. And Zu and Co looking to push them back. Will be dropping really low. Manages to stay alive, however, as Sudol, a bit out of position, tried to, to run desperately back to his team, but Reinhardt's shield was not there. And even Shu, dying there, potentially disconnected. Yes, it does seem like Shu disconnected again. It is something that happened previously, it seems like uh, he does have some internet issues. It's not the first time it happened in an online tournament setting unfortunately for pale golden rod but still overall a pretty dominant second round of lee jank coming out of vivi's once again and we've seen how strong vivi can be even in the uh most recent tournament over on efrag they got taken down in the first round unfortunately for them by <coughs> uh gale force esports but still, not without putting up a good fight and only losing by uh, a smidget in terms of the final push on Hollywood, I believe. Gale Force managing to get a card a bit further away. And on top of that, Gale Force also got all the way into the semifinals. And you gotta ask yourself if Vivi would have played on equal terms in term uh, when it comes to the ping as the games were played on the North American service. Maybe, just maybe, they could have potentially uh, pull out a win and replace Gale Force in that semi-final spot. Who knows? Still, so far, looking great for Vivi on Lee Jang. If they are to take this first map win in the series, Pale Golden Round will choose second one to play on. And while we have a bit of downtime, I will mention that you can already sign up for Season 2. If you wish to participate, if you're an aspiring team looking for a community tournament to join over on the EU side of things, type in exclamation point sign up in the Twitch chat. But round will continue to hopefully will not have any further issues throughout the night. As we see Hanzu, again aggressively onto the high ground, and Nicola did commit over to the swap on Genji of his own, but with the data boost and the Dragon Blade being popped, M1 actually getting a double kill with the Pulse Bomb, and the up big dids who managed to stun Hanzu and get the kill, but still will be staggered and taken down with free ultimates expended for Vivi. On the other hand, Hell Golden Rod will be looking to have five available for that next team fight, so they are definitely having a big opportunity here to turn things around. Not a boost attack visor coming out. So far, no kills. Lulish gets a primal rage in time. So far, it's one for one. Return. Attack visor puffed by Elivo. Zit gets another kill onto the tracer. And the point swap being successful by Shu. Lucio on a solo mission. Will go down, however. Zitz running desperately onto the point. Gets booped in range for the stun by Zekker. Doesn't matter, however, as Vivi will be able to get the recap. And not entirely sure what Nicola was thinking to do there. Point was not over in their favor. Nobody really to support him. And Pale Golden Rod, last ditch attempts now that we hit overtime. Very desperate coming out of him as Vivi will be able to take second round of Lee Jang as well. And so far. There's a very good case for Vivi to be winning, at the very least, Lee Jang here in this matchup. Not sure if Sudol will go with it. 
Unfortunately for Shu, it seems like he's still having a couple of issues, but... I do hope it gets a bit better throughout the rest of the series as Sudo will be sticking with that Junkrat. Junkrat has been played on control maps. We'll see if uh, being picked here on <laughs> Li Zhang is that pale golden rod. Again, potentially went on the board. Almost kills himself in the Winston barrier. Bubble too strong. But so far, no kills coming through for either team. Junkrat pick being really annoying for the flankers of Vivi. But with that being said, Vivi still getting the first point cap. Now, ooh, beautiful charge by Drodo. Nicola following up with a few extra kills. Shu getting the best out of Zekir. And with the team fight win, Hill Golden Rod finally take hold of the point. We'll have the attack visor ready to go. Opts in to go for the left hand side. Sebastian ready with the uh, nano boost as well. And so far, nobody going down. Hanzu will be popping that dragon blade. Nano boost to Fossil, but Sudo! The Junkrat! The bait of Genji's at times will be able to get the kill, but still, M1 still alive. We'll get that double. But Ellie should be able to clean up. Not before going down. My sleep dart coming out of Sebastian. However, it will not be enough. And Vivi will get those point swaps back into their favor. And even though Sudo will have that rip tire ready to roll. Not entirely sure if he can make it work. But coordination, definitely one of the easier things to handle. Or teams. Ellie can keep an eye on it. With that Helix, make sure he uses it in time. But Nicola, again, was not in range for the sound barrier. And unfortunately, will be get taken down. And Hanzu spots out Sudo, but not before the Revenge Reptire. Oh, so common for Genji's. But still, Bionade is good. Shu still takes one kill. Dids and Shu trying to turn things into their favor. Now when Nicola back onto the point, he still has the ultimate available. Sets his sights onto the opposing Gana. Gets him in the end, gets the slash onto M1. And Pale Golden Rod should be able to swap it back into their favor. Genji duel commencing. But three ultimates available for Vivi's adventure means that if Ellie can get into good positioning, gets the nano boost to make it be able to get a lot out of it as he is not contested up top sound bear will be used defensively and the combo is out did the spritz to fall and now with all of the ultimates being used by the side of vivi celebratory spasm coming out of ellie and point back over in vivi's side the videos for ultimate however to get it but nicola will swap over to the roadhog pseudo sticking to that junk rat still looking to do some extra work here and one coming in from the side does not get spotted just yet takes the opposing gana to half and ooh, nice sleep means he's gotta be stopped in the tracks and with the rest of his team easy kill for them but so far it's still one for one make that two now with this finally and Vivi will be able to get it to 99%. Every time kicks in, but the point swap will be good for Pale Golden Rod. And Zeus still alive somehow. Takes down Sebastian in the end, but we'll be looking to regroup with his team. Hello. And should be able to work his way towards the Dragon Blade. However, a lot of ultimates ready to go for the side of Pale Golden Rod. Rip Tire is out. Junkrat was not spotted. And can he do it? No! Oh, so close, but does not get it in the end. And goes in super aggressively, gets the solo kill onto Anna. And with the tech visor being used, this is still looking great for Pale Golden Rod. Nobody on the point, and they take it. Two to one.
And as said, Junkrat has been played on control maps uh, as of late in certain cases, so seems to pay off here for Pale Golden Rod from Pseudo. It is really annoying as not only can the trap stop both M1 and Hanzu, that it attracts even through the dash for Genji. We can definitely see how strong those grenades are. And now, even with the mind able to easily secure those kills in certain cases, Tail Goldenrod will be pushing in onto the point. Lolish swapping over to that Winston heavy dive composition out of him, but Nicola gets the first blood. Good Hog, definitely a good choice when dealing with a Winston diving in. Especially if he doesn't have a Zarya backing him up and now. Get a secondary fire kill onto Alivo. And Bale Golden Pod does it again. Gets another first point cap this time. I do believe they got the first point cap last time too. In either case, ult advantage is slowly building up for them, but Hanzu will at least have that blade already ready to go. Looking for targets, gets the first one. Looking for more, doesn't get anything just yet. So far, two for two. Can they get more? Good bite it into the hook! Nicola gets a really nice hook onto Hanzu. And as a result, Pale Goldenrod will be able to keep on holding. A lot of ultimates lined up for them as well. That's attack visor, Sebastian, Nano Boost. Ali will have attack visor of his own, but bam, no Nano Boost. To do. As we will see Lolish dive in once again. So far, it's three for one, and Ali popping his attack visor too, but will be forced back. Sudo going in with a rip tire. Final celebratory kill onto Bam. Why not? And this, it seems like Vivi will have no answer to this drunk rat pick so far. Henzu finally swapping over to the D.Va and Ellie onto the Zarya. The Matrix will be looking to mitigate some of those grenades, but Nicola once again gets the kill onto Ellie. Nice charge. Will be the kill onto M1. Heck, will pull the D.Va closer. Confusing Nicola for a slight second there. As to where the driver, or rather the pilot, got ejected to, but still. Tail Golden Rod, 95% left and looking to hold. Gets the cut onto M1. Nicely done, means that no tracer will get onto the point, and Pale Golden Rod somehow manages to get it equalized. 2 to 2. And I really hope, for the sake of Vivi, that they will at the very least stick with Zarya to help and deal with this Junkrat, because it seems like ever since Pseudo went ahead and played it, no real answers were had by Vivi, so... Now that they went for that triple tank composition with the D.Va, with the Zarya, they're definitely going to be in a much better position to deal with Pseudo. We'll see if it pays off. Ali, definitely an exceptional Zarya as well. And the charge is good for Lulish. And doesn't matter as you are in close quarters. Pseudo and Co. will just spam damage into you. And again, Pale Golden Rod coming out with a team fight win. And a first point cap. Maybe, just maybe, we'll keep on seeing a lot more Junkrat on these control maps here tonight. Even with the D.Va and the Zarya so far, no real answers coming in from the blue side. Lolish going down once again, Nicola. Definitely being a big factor here on that Roadhog. And Pseudo actually gets killed off by his own uh, devices. Unfortunately for him, as uh, Henzu did get shielded off by Ellie. 
manages to uh, secure a kill on the pseudo from the uh, explosive radius. But still, we will see the blue team push on to the point. Sound boost in, LA vote takes the first kill on to Drodo, looking for more. So far, still looking good for Vivi's adventure. But Nicola takes one before going down. M1 gets the kill onto him. And now with Tsuno with the rip tire. He will be able to take down the opposing Gana. And can Pilgol the Rod do it with a good Earth Shatter coming out of Drodo? It should be enough. Even with the last two remaining members. Make that free actually from Vivi. Lulish making back up to the point. Will be able to turn things back into their favor. Never mind what I just said. Didn't notice the big barely Reinhardt there, but Vivi will have all of their ultimates lined up and available. They should win the next team fight very handily. Helgo the Rod only having that whole hog for now, and the eyes are on. M1 for now, as he's gonna just dish as much damage into the grab dot as possible. Diva Bomb coming through with the self destruct. One kill achieved by Dodo. But two ultimates used for the hold means that Kill Golden Rod will be pushed back. And Vivi will still have a lot of ultimates to work with. Sound Barrier, Nano Boost, Back Visor, Earth Shatter. Whereas, Phil Golden Rod might be looking to just force more ultimate usages out of this uh, lineup of Vivi. But Diva absorbing all of that ultimate out of the opposing soldier. Now on to Pseudo. 3 for 1. Make that 4. Even Nicola getting the hook, but shield saving up Henzu in the end. And Vivi will keep on holding. Unfortunately for Pale Golden Rod, they did use all of their available ultimates. Only Nana Boost available for Vivi, however. And Pseudo, now with the swap over onto Tracer, will this be it? Grotto with the Earth Shatter up and ready, looking to come up big. And no! Whiffs it! Does not get anything out of it, but. Charge will pin Henzu to the wall. Foolish answers with a kill onto the enemy Reinhardt. And with the sound barrier being used defensively, overtime kicking in. This is looking great for Vivi. Kill after kill going their way. And Vivi, in the end, with a hard fought battle, will manage to take a first map win. GG. As we see Henzi's play once again on that very dominant first round of Lee Jank coming out of Vivi, but still really nicely done by Pale Golden Rod to turn fix back, equalize it 2 to 2, and potentially take it all the way back with a reverse sweep. And Jugrat pick did win them two maps, or rather two uh, rounds on Lee Jank. Wasn't enough to take it all the way, unfortunately for them. Still well fought, and uh, we'll find out soon what the map choice of Pale Golden Rod will be as the loser, uh, the losing team will be able to choose uh, as such. And once more, this is the second semifinals of the winner's bracket, best of three. The winner will advance over to face off versus Gamers Origin, and the winner's bracket finals and the losers will be knocked down into the loser's bracket, where they can still fight their way into the grand finals, where the loser, uh, or rather the team coming out of the loser's bracket will have a one series disadvantage. They will need to win two best of threes. And whereas the winning team over from the winner's bracket side of things will only need to win one best of three series. So, so far, as said, Gamers Origin looking like a definite contender for that first prize. And now with seeing how Vivi's adventure is playing, they are definitely making a case for a potential uh, candidate as well but 
again. Uh, let's see. It's going to notify teams that we are ready. Hopefully, they are good to go too. All right. Uh, it seems like there is some slight problems coming in here in chat. Not entirely sure what the issue seems to be. Oh, just some updating issues on the uh, Razer Arena side of things. No problem. Uh, they just need to pick a map and we should be good to go. But once again, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that follow button for future tourneys. We will resume the second season. Of course, uh, make sure to check it out and even sign up by typing in exclamation point sign up in chat. You can see the link and as you will be provided with it. Uh, and on top of it, if you want to participate at the, or rather in the giveaway, type in exclamation point giveaway to check out some of the awesome swag prizes that you can get. And uh, it seems like it will be Oasis for our second map in the series. And I just quickly notify the teams that I'm ready so we can head into the match and start it off. Welcome. Another control map will be the choice and not entirely sure if they will go for another Junkrat pick once more. Pseudo was definitely a big factor there in Pale Golden Rod's journey towards recouping and getting a potential reverse sweep. But so far, triple threat composition coming out of PGR. Whereas over on the blue hand side of things, seems like we will have Ellie on that Zarya, Lulish on that Reinhardt instead, with M Wump on Soldier. Not sure if Bam will stick to Mercy, unless Enzu decides to swap over to Farah. I do not think he will go through with it, and you'll see the swap in the end. And as I was saying, pseudo we're gonna we're going to try and make that pick work once more. It's over to the junk rat, but with Ellie being on Zarya, he should have an easier time dealing with the junk rat. Nicola, however, securing that first kill on ammo. Looking for more high ground. Contested by both teams. Looking to push them back. Concussion Blast. Ooh, Dead's actually getting the kill. Not even with the environmental. Charge in by Lilish does not grant anything. And Nicola cleaning up house means that Pale Goldenrod will be able to secure the Force Cap. Ultimate advantage building up in their favor on top. Nicola definitely checking out those sweet Calvin tips for some positionings. On the subreddit. Still, Pale Golden Rod will be looking to hold Emblem, swapping over to the McCree, but Pseudo once more takes down Zekir. Nice leap onto it. We'll secure the kill there, but still, two for one in favor of Pale Golden Rod. And Pseudo uncontested. We'll get another kill, looking for more. Just going in super aggressively. Gets Emblem. Looks for the Ana. Doesn't even need to get the kill as meanwhile. Secret agent Zekir for Vivi. We'll be able to get the point cap. Lola's charging in from the side as well. Nicely done by them. And this is not what PGR wants. Playing a bit too aggressively there. One kill will be the result of that Earth Shatter, but can they get anything else? So far, still, as said, so many ultimates available for Pale Golden Rod, and Pseudo will be swapping out of it. Need to use that Reptire out of the spawn, but Hanzu coming back. And now even getting the direct hit onto the opposing Pharah. Comes out big, and Vivi definitely... Playing this out really, really well. Dids will be using that rocket brush, but Emblem getting a triple will clean up hounds with Henzu. 
Pseudo swapping once again. Will be Soldier this time around. Two ultimates ready to go for Pale Golden Rod. With an Ellie on that Diva. Not only gonna help with mitigating the Colas ultimate, but so far one for one. Henzu getting a good kill of his own, but the Dragon Blade being popped. Nicola, not really able to get anything out of it just yet, finally takes Henzu down with the help of Pseudo. Sets his sights on the Lucio, doesn't get him down. And still, Vivi's adventure continue to hold. Brave Bionade will secure the kill onto Shu. And with the charge follow-up by Lulish, Cola will finally go down. With so many ults available for Vivi. This is looking great for that first round win on her aces. Pseudo gets the condo M1, that's trying to push over time. And maybe for something, but again. Kills in favor of Vivi. Overtime was pushed, but still, with the final members being finished off by Vivi. Vivi will be able to get that first round win soon enough. Did annoying on that tracer will go down. Not going to be enough, and Vivi, take first point. Pseudo tried to get another win on the board with that Junkrat pick, but it seems like the appropriate answer Sorry. will be the D.Va. Even Zarya coming out of Vivi. We'll see if Vivi will stick to this current composition, only swapping Ellie to uh, Zarya potentially. But as I say that, going back to Zarya Pseudo. Seems like he's going to try and make it work once again. An interesting uh, dive composition coming out of uh, Pale Golden Rod. A junk rat to round up that triple threat. Comp and Nicola gets the first blood so far. Looking for more and Shu! Shu coming up big with a double kill with the boop. Nicely done by him, it will definitely mean that Hill Goldenrod will be able to once again secure the first point for themselves over here on Oasis. But still, this could still very well go the same way as it did last round where sure, they will get that first point, but other than that, if Vivi's adventure can get the point back and snowball off of great old usages, they could pull things back in their favor, but nice deflect. We'll stun up the McCree. So far, it's one for one. Jota will be popping that Primal Rage, looking to kill Lolish with the environmental. Does not get to do so just yet, and Sebastian will force Diva out of her mech. No kill falling up that engage so far. Hands you. Getting one on to Dids, Jota finally killing off Lulish, Emblem, another answer, but still, very close team fight so far. Nicola did swap over to the McCree himself, taking down Henzu. And so far it seems like it's free versus free on the point, but with the members of... Ooh, nice stun on to Shu! I was about to say, it seems like blue team will be able to regroup quicker, but beautiful stun coming out of Emblem means that Shu will not be able to finalize the cast on that sound barrier. And Vivi gets a good team fight win and the point capped into their favor. And once more, ultimate advantage building up for them. If they can make good use of them, not overcommit, not go too aggressive. They could snowball off of that team pot win, but so far, Nicola getting the first blood. Earth Shatter is good, gets two, but not anything else. Doesn't get more than one kill. And Jotto gets to kill Bam with the environmental. Diva ult was used, self destruct comes through. Doesn't get anything so far. And with the advantage 
on over the red side. This looks like Kill Goldenrod will be able to get the point back. Finalizing the last few kills. The points will swap over in their favor. I'm on fire. Divi is looking to regroup, fortunately for them. Self-destruct, not really getting too much done. Lulish only getting two with that Earth Shatter and getting only a single kill off of it. But Amwomp will find it. Enzu gets caught to Sebastian with that Rocket Barrage. Grotto will be naded up by the Anna. And now we'll go over into overtime, but Vivi should be able to take the point. Still. If Pale Goldenrod takes one more win, they will be able to get the map, equalize it one to one. We're here on Oasis. We'll see M1 ready to go with that dead eye. Looking on the high ground for a sec there. He'll decide to regrow with his team. We'll be popping it, but instantly gets taken down. Nicola answers with his dead eye of his own. Gets a kill. And so far, two for one. Beautiful headshots on Zekker. And follows it up with a triple onto Henzu. Looking for that for triple kill to Lulish. Nice sleep dart. Will stop him dead in his tracks. Good stun grenade into a headshot. Nicola on fire. And Pale Golden Rod will be able to take the round and equalize it one to one soon enough Henzu not a beautiful headshot Nicola dropping down will not matter pale golden rod equalizes it one to one in the end but Nicola being an absolute beast on that McCree. Popping heads left and right. Pretty much quoting, uh, to quote uh, Flame here, playing Duck Hunt at that point. Is gonna be looking to stick to that McCree once more. Interesting to see if Hanzu will. Swap over from the Roadhog or stick with it. Seems like he is gonna go ahead and play that very specific pick as Ellie will swap over into Desaria. Definitely will be a big help when it face off against Hoodle and Enzu. Alright, again, get the first blood. Two for one so far. Nicola answers with one of his own as Enzu gets booped by Shu. Beautiful environmental kill as Nicola once more out for blood. Gets both supports. Gets a beautiful aerial headshot on to the opposing Mikri. And first point once more. Going over to the side of Pale Golden Rod. We'll be curious if Henzu is gonna opt in for a D.Va. Or if he's gonna stick with the Roadhog so far as Nicola. Once more, it's another kill, did secure another one onto the support. M1, really, really low, will be taken down. Nice flashbang to interrupt the heal. And it's clean up on aisle 5 for Pale Golden Rada. Pseudo with a roof tire, securing a, a couple of kills of his own. Still unanswered. And it's very unfortunate for Vivi as normally a Junkrat pe being picked into a Zarya means that. Sorry, we'll be able to get free charge. And that is one of the biggest issues with playing Junkrat in general, but so far, Pale Goldenrod still making it work, and Nicola will be popping. That dead eye gets one somehow. Sleeped in the end. Two for one in favor of Vivi. Make that free and still pseudo raining death from above. Gets the kill onto Lulish. But still, Hentu picking two more. Means that Vivi will be able to get the point. Even M1 getting the Helix kill there. That's trying to delay as much as possible. 73%. But still, Vivi manages to take it in the end.
to ultimate versus the one of Pale Goldenrod in advantage of Vivi. As we'll see the death from above. But it should come and get out of the whole hog. But no. Gets the hook. Hook 2.0, however. Being the victor for Sudo. And Sudo still taking the kill on Lilish with a rip tire. And with the support of Nicola. We'll get a couple of extras. With the nano boost on the whole hog. Henzu looking for more. Will not get hit by the sleep dart. Doesn't get to hit the hook. But M1 with the attack visor with the high ground. Cleans up house. Sebastian will go ahead and reset. And Vivi continue to hold. So far once again. A lot of ultimates still up and ready to go for Nicola. And Pale Golden Rod. Jodo with a primal rage. Sebastian might opt in to use it on Jodo. He will go ahead and do so as he's going to go in, but Nicola gets the first kill. Shoo. Second one, Ellie answers with a kill of his own. We'll have that Graviton soon. Will he actually opt in to use a 50 charge on the Zarya as well? Nicely, but gets woken up. And that is not what you're looking for, as did. Follows it up with the few kills. Doesn't get much out of the Pulse Bomb and Emblem. Answering with two kills of his own will do pseudo. Both of them going down. Vivi will still be able to hold. 99% is soon to come. And Nicola, last man on the point, will go down. And Vivi should be able to finally secure that second round win. As Bam expresses his uh, displeasure <laughs> with Junkrat, definitely something that is really annoying to deal with at times. It seems like this mostly UK lineup of Pale Goldenrod having some internet connectivity issues. Hopefully not for much longer. Credit connection issues. Still, a few swaps coming on both ends. At the very least, Vivi. Let's swap over to the fire for a sec there. We'll go ahead and deter for a minute. And do. Going in from the side, looking for a couple of picks, but. Nicola and Co. will have that high ground advantage. That's looking for some extra damage onto this back line of Vivi. Stays alive, will finally go down. And do takes first blood. Looking for Jotto, gets him, gets the hook onto Nicola. Henzu finally gets stopped by the sleep dart, but still, team fight will be a clear victory for Vivi. M1 making sure no one's left alive in the underground. The rest of this team will look to push. Sudo and the rest of Pale will not run back. Charge will not connect. Nicola getting that first blood. Pulse bomb by Dids is good. And they follow it up with anything else. Sudo gets a kill onto M1. And even the Riptire big pop! Sacrificial usage out of Sudo. Takes the life of Ellie, but not without going down himself. Still, Pale Goldenrod will manage to take the point capture in their favor. Dead still laying off onto the side. Being a pest, looking for a couple of extra kills, but with an Ana Boost attack visor, M1 gets the first kill onto Shu. Looking for Dead Winston, but with the Primal Rage, he's gonna be able to hold. And with the Dead Eye, he's not gonna be able to get any kills. Nice sound barrier coming in by Zekker. And Zoo, gonna be able to get the hook and the kill onto the Ana. Nice secondary fire kill onto the Winston. Will even be deadlier with the new patch. Gets the hook for that secure kill with Ellie on this. And Vivi will be able to recap. Make 
Pseudo finally swapping over from that Junkrat, but Earth Shatter, Graviton, and Whole Hog available for Vivi. This is not looking good for them as Hanzu going in with the Whole Hog gets stopped dead in his tracks. But nice secondary fire flick. We'll secure the kill onto Nicola. Bam. Finalizing that one on Pseudo. And Jodo charging in, not entirely sure why he did go for that choice. We'll just straight ahead go on and feed. But still, two ultimates used by Vivi. Her shatter was is still available for Lulish. Looking to win out in this team fight because of it. And with Jodo being so low, this is looking more likely. Will be nano boosted and manages to stay alive, but now with a dead eye, doesn't get any kills. Finally kills Henzu, but Emblem with the tech visor will be really, really low as Sudol is still contesting him. And Vivi might actually go down. 99% and overtime kicking in. Ellie gets a call onto Sebastian, but the rest of the blue team should fall down here as nice charge by Jodo. Secure the kill onto the opposing Reinhardt. I'm not a young man. Charging. But still, one more team fight in the favor of Vivi. And it's gonna be enough for them to win the map and the series. And with sound barrier as well as Graviton coming up soon. That might just be it, but Pulse Bomb comes through. Clutch save by Ellie. Beautifully done, but big Earth Shatter catches four, and it's cleanup up duty for Pale Golden Rod. Even with the Clutch Shield, Jodo comes up huge. Gets the quad Earth Shatter. And as a result, this is not looking good for Vivi. They will have that Graviton, but they need to. Speed boost onto the point. 94%. And then we'll Ellie just go ahead and use it. But with High Noon being popped, Nicola actually manages to still get one. With the whole hog being used by Hentu. They might just go ahead and do it, but still did get to kill onto Bam. It's four versus two at this point. Earth Shatter coming through. And Vivi should be able to do it unless did manages to be the hero. Gets a double, but nobody's still left. To come and the point will be recapped. Drodo desperately trying to run back, will not manage to do so. And Did's beautiful last ditch effort, fortunately for him, will not be enough. And it's really unfortunate that it seems like uh, some of the Pale Golden Rod, Pale Golden Rod lineup still having connectivity issues. Uh, you know, some sponsors, if you want to chip in for this awesome team, secure them some better equipment, some better networking, who knows. But still, well played by both teams, uh, really great series, and as a result, Vivi will be advancing off into the British Bracket Finals to face off versus Gamers Origin. And unfortunately for Pale Golden Rod, they will be knocked down to the loser's bracket. But still, they're not out just yet. Potentially still in it. And hopefully, uh, they will have their uh, network slash connection improved. So they can potentially put up an even better fight. Still, once again, really exceptionally played by both teams here. And I really cannot wait to head it over into the finals as well as the rest of the matches but once again my name is Brinch hopefully you're having a wonderful time this on this first day as we will be heading over to a very short break but don't go anywhere we'll try to get the winners bracket finals ready to go as soon as possible